gentlemen of the world, and welcome to the Kirsty Vegan Show! Yay! I was going to say, and the crowd roars. Okay, good. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, I am going to do some, like a design on myself today, inspired by um, tie-dye, especially the tie-dye that is on my merch so I'm releasing some merch and I want to do the same kind of thing on my nails so let's see if I can do it I have no idea if this is going to work so there might be some mistakes Just gonna wipe over these nails just to make sure they're nice and clean. Just mention we did them in another video and you can check that out. Yeah, well I don't need to feel that because you just mentioned it. You mentioned it. So I was just about to say before Adam rudely interrupted me, I have done these nails. If you like these nails and you think, oh I want to know how they they are done, well you can check them out in another video. It'll be linked below, won't you tell me? Yeah. Yes. So, um, I need to create, I want like a, I want to say splodgy. Now splodgy is the technical term for this design. Yeah? Okay. But you know what I mean though, don't you? Nope. <coughs> they do. Right, so I'm going to use the Nail Can Meet Little Palette and I'm going to use some of the paints to create my splodgy background, okay? So we're gonna use the purple. I need to take that bit off first, that, that would be a good idea. Okay, squeeze a little bit out. Well, pump a little bit out. I love these. I love that you can just go like that. Look at that. Mess free, unlike my nail hairs. So, I'm gonna get my little sponge. The thing about these sponges is they do like to collect little bits of like fibres. So I'm just giving him a bit of a flick. Just to try and get rid of it. So I am going to use my non-dominant hand to create this design. So like I said, bear with me. Is that why it's a splodgy design? Just yes, in case it goes wrong. Exactly. These are the perfect designs. <laughs> I think you should do straight lines. On your you can you can jog on. That's what you can do. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this paint, and then I'm going to just press that into the sponge a little bit onto the palette, like that. Yeah, and then I've got to press that on. Sparingly makes it nice and thin. And that's what we want. So you see we've got a splodgy design. Yeah. And then I want some white. This is your splodgy background. You can then turn and blend a little bit if you want to. But you want it to be quite irregular. Just really random. Because tie-dye is super random. A little bit Oh. 
there we are. So I'm happy with that. Aren't you happy? We're going to cure that in the lamb. So, top coat. So I'm going to use the no wipe top coat from the Alchemy. Right, we're top coating that. The reason we're top coating is because we're going to use ink on the top. So ink works best on a smooth surface. You can kind of slip and slide the inks around. So it's like, it's a tie-dye effect with a combination of gel paint and inks, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to use some, now I looked at these, I was like, what solution shall I use for manipulating the inks? Now I've had a little look at the ingredients on these. So you want something that has isopropyl alcohol in it. This has isopropyl alcohol and a few other ingredients. And this one has isopropyl something or other else. So different ingredients. So I'm going to use the blue scrub from Nail Perfect. So it needs to have isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. Put my teeth back in. So that's what you're looking for. I'm going to use a 3D brush. That's what you're going to use to sort of manipulate it round. So we're going to use um, some of the metallic purple and we're going to use some of the flat purple as well. We're going to use metallic red, which is, I think, more pink coloured. And then we've got metallic pink as well, but that's more silvery pink. Yeah? We're going to use those and we're going to use black as well. Now, you can, if you want to be really controlled, you can put them into the palette. So I'll show you that. I'll show you what I mean. So we use this purple first. And that looks like it's clear, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But when it starts to dry, it actually dries purple. Let me show you. I'm going to pick some up on my brush. And pull that through. Can you see how it's being purple now? It is, isn't it? So you can kind of like do your viney little wavy lines. Or you can use the brush as well from the bottle and I'll show you that. So if we use it from the bottle you'll get a lot more. And then what you want to do is go into your liquid with the IPA in it and then you can start to change the shape slightly and kind of dilute it a little bit. Now this brush will have pigment in it now. So if I wipe it here, see? So you can either use the pigment that's on there or you can clean it up. that colour. Then we're going to use some of the metallic purple which I love. So nice. But I want to use it quite sparing. So I'm going to pop some on a palette. So you can put it exactly where you want it. So I'll show you again with using using it with the brush. You'll get a lot more. But you'll still be able to sort of move it around with your brush and some of the IPA. to be darker so if you look at it you can see I'm leaving some a little bit darker
And again, if you want to break that up, just go in with your brush with a little bit of IPA on it. And I don't think I'm actually going to use that metallic paint because I think it'll be too pale. So, black. Black is the devil. This, if this gets on your skin, it's on for a very long time. All the inks are really pigmented and I can't even, I can't even grasp the bottle properly because, because the nails are too long. <laughs> so, I want some black on now. This is going to kind of break everything up a little bit. This is so difficult, this other hand. Black will stain really, really quickly as well. I quite like that. I like that too. No, no, it'll come off on the brush. It'll come off. Oh, it'll probably stain that bit, you know, I never thought about that. Let's have a look. It does indeed. Yes, I might take that off. Mm. <laughs> right. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to use a little bit of white. Now, I would definitely use the Miko brush for this. And so we've got some of the white gel paint. Yeah. But that's very sticky. It's got resistance. It doesn't flow. So I want to try and make it flow. So we're going to add some of the IPA. I'm going to mix that in to water it down. Well, dilute it. It's not watering it, is it? It's diluting. So we've got that now. And then we can add little bits of white to any places that you want to highlight. Well, you can use a white ink. You don't have to. Wow, this is hard with this hand. And don't forget, there is IPA in this, so it'll still move what's on there already. I like that. So we will need to cure that because it's got gel. And then we're going to top coat. Now, I'm going to use this top coat because it's really thin and I like it. But I have no idea what it's going to do to the... Um, ink because sometimes it makes the ink bleed. Certain top coats make the ink actually bleed. Oh, this is slightly good. So this is the nail gargoyle top coat. Top coating with my left hand, you know, and I'm right-handed. Feeling a bit scared. Can't get it all over my skin. <laughs> right, let's make sure we get that off the skin. And in the lamp we go. Look at that. So nice. It's like marbly tie dye. I like it. Okay, let's get the other done.
So I did touch my skin a little bit and cause a bit of stain on this one. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some bling on. You know that's my favourite thing, don't you? 
Yeah, you can't go to football training without bling on. Right, so for my bling, 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 I'm going to use the Nelchemy Crystal Gem Glue. I'm going to put some on a little palette. How pretty does that look? It looks cool, doesn't it? What do you see, Adam? Birds. I see a running horse, or a galloping horse. And then we will need stones, obviously. Let's get the stones out. So I'm going to use a mixture of the Nail by Lucy bling that I've got, and also the crystal box, the bling box. Bling box? Bling? Bling box. Right. Middle one, I want quite a bit on. So actually, I'm going to squeeze it straight from the tube onto the nail. Oh, squeeze it from the pump. I like giving my stones towards the back because I've got less chance of sort of catching them. So you want to press them into the gel. And make sure if you're using, make sure, make sure if you're using big gems, surround them by little gems and it will help you keep the stones on. They kind of like protect each other. I like big sisters and little sisters. Or big brothers and you know, like siblings. Right, cute claw y'all. Here we go. Where are you? Where are you? Where's my baby? Everybody keeps saying they're going to steal this. And I'm not having it. It's the indigo sheer elixir oil. So, throw that on. Each one of them. So I'd say definitely this is something that's, you know, easier than doing really intricate painted designs that you can do with your non-dominant hand. And it's also quick if you can, you know, use your, your dominant hand as well. That's always really quick. <laughs> Not so quick when you're using your non-dominant. Yeah, I've got long nails on. <gasps> Let's see how long they stay on for. So I cut them down. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to put them on. Just love them. Right, and guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Everything I've used today will be listed below. It always is. If you've made it through to the very end of this video, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for thank you for putting up with Adam. Um, <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Ta-ra, duck!